Australia's Special Olympians have returned from the World Games in Berlin with a very impressive medal haul. 64 athletes with an intellectual disability or autism competed across nine of the 26 sports on offer including athletics, basketball, bowling, equestrian and gymnastics. Team Australia came away with 59 medals, 15 gold, 21 silver and 23 bronze. And we have some sporting royalty in the studio this morning. Two of the Aussie athletes join us now. We have Bray Aquino and Lisa Weingartner. Good morning to you both. Bray, look at that glorious medal <laughs> yeah. hanging around your neck. You won gold in the men's 100 metres sprint. Firstly, can I just ask a silly question? Is that heavy? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to have a, a gold medal hanging around your neck? Oh, it's hard to say. Relaxing, but pride, I'd yeah, say. More absolutely. prideful. More Got prideful. Got puff my chest up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what was the whole experience like, Bray? Because you're in, you're in Berlin. We saw those wonderful pictures of you guys getting back here to the airport in Brisbane. But what an experience to travel with the whole team full of mates and, and all do so well. Yeah, it was like being out with a bunch of the kids at school, getting happy, getting excited, getting rowdy, cheering everyone on. It's just amazing. Uh, the, the smile on your face is amazing. <laughs> you can see what an experience it was. Lisa, you were the sign bearer for the closing ceremony. Yeah. You also, if you don't mind, ran a personal best in the 200 metre, which is pretty amazing when you do it when it counts. How did it feel to, to represent Australia like this? It felt crazy. Like, it was amazing, but it felt, like, different. Like, it was like, oh, my goodness, this is real. The, but it was, felt so good. The sort of thing that you'll treasure and remember forever, I imagine? Yeah, it is. Lisa, you've obviously already competed before, but how much was the extra pressure of competing on the world stage like this? How did you sort of, you know, G yourself up for it? Well, I had Bray with me, so he helped <laughs> yeah. me a lot through the emotional and, like, the, um, like, getting excited and, like, not as nervous. So yes. it was all good. Yeah. Bray, um, if I could just sort of labour on the, winning the, the gold in the 100 metre, because th that is just a yeah. massive achievement. You say you puff your chest up a <laughs> little bit. I'd be puffing my chest <laughs> yeah. up uh, a lot. Uh, and look at the sheer dedication on your face <laughs> there. That is a thing. No wonder no one beat Focus. you. <laughs> Have a look how dedicated. It's amazing to watch. H how, how did you feel through the race? How did you feel when you realised you'd won? Well, I didn't even realise I had won until I turned around the finish line and I saw everyone crossing the line then. And <laughs> that's when I'm like, oh, God, <laughs> I think I ran a bit too far. <laughs> the moment I took off, oh, sheer adrenaline, sheer adrenaline. How good is that? such a thing as too fast. You have yeah. an opportunity to look game. around and still see everyone else finishing. That's how good. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Lisa, one of the wonderful things we see about the Olympics, about the Paralympics, about the World Games is you get to meet so many people from other different countries as well. What was that experience like to be in the village in Berlin? It was good. Like, meeting the people from different countries was, like, a really good experience. Like, you actually, like, meet them and then talk to them. Sometimes it was sign language because, you know, like, different countries couldn't speak English. And, like, it was fun. It was a really good experience. I love that now you're not only just sort of cruising around with medals and, and lanyards around your neck, but you brought your own cheer squad both outside the window. <laughs> yeah. Hello to all your cheer squad out there in the studio as well. Give them a huge round of applause. Bray and Lisa, thank you so much for coming in this morning. What an experience. Yeah. Bray, when you, when you meet people now, do you say, hi, I'm a 100-metre champ? Or, uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Bray, I'm a 100-metre champ? Is that no, a, no, nothing no. like that. <laughs> well, I'll do that on your yeah, behalf. He's just staying humble, mate. He's staying humble. Oh, okay. It's so wonderful. Congrats, guys.